man like troops, back again. About my blood clot, yang, all of that. Man came on the Kooligans and shut the thing down. Make sure you watch. If you don't, you're a ham roll, blood. Aye, papi! Yes, let's go. Let's go. All right, I got to fix the focus on my camera because it is... Where, why am I over here? You can barely see me. Okay, cool. I don't want to... I gotta be like five feet from the, I mean like five inches from the screen. I don't wanna have to do that. Uh, That's what everybody tuned in to hear. <laughs> is us talking about the camera. Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of The Prem Show. We're taping this live on Twitch. Thanksgiving Eve. El Twitch. El Twitch. Okay, especially with my hair right now. It's very much El Twitch. Ya tu sabe. Yo. Uh, so, <laughs> welcome. Uh, we are the cool again. My name is Christian Polanco. That's right. I'm Alexis Guerrero. All right. We are your favorite stand up comedians that host the funniest soccer show on Twitch, live streamed with the dopest uh, Twitch chat there is on this on this website. That's right. He's someone my gully. En todo el Twitch. Exactamente. Para que okay, ya tú sabes. Todo el mundo sabe español, ¿verdad? Porque si no, <laughs> va a tener problemas. Okay. You mean it's a... Is there a translator for this... Uh, do they Google Translate for Twitch? Uh, <laughs> is there a Google it. Translate for... Does Bing translate the, the uh, Cuban dialect? <laughs> okay, Bing needs to do that. Okay, get All on right. that, Bing. Uh, How come we never started calling Colo Blanco Colo Colo Blanco? Uh, I mean, you can start today, right? But I feel like <laughs> I feel like we should. Where is he? It's the first time he's not been here. <laughs> yeah, he's also not here. We we usually, you know, we we start late. We give him enough time, but maybe it is he might have a family obligation uh, this time around. Obviously, the holidays are, are around. Uh, so uh, hello everybody. If uh, yes, thank you to everyone here on Twitch. If you're listening to this podcast, uh, yeah, uh, we obviously we tape this show uh, every Wednesday, six. PM Eastern time on Twitch, twitch.tv slash soccer cooligans. Give us a follow immediately uh, because it, you know, you're missing out on the, on the, on that side of the experience. Okay. Uh, so we uh, uh, obviously a lot to uh, talk about today. There's obviously so much stuff in, in the news going on in, in world uh, soccer um, and people. All right. Thank you. I'm looking at the chat. Oh, Felix, thank you for the sub, by the way. Uh, let's go to Nutmeg Cam. Nutmeg, okay, so let me give you a quick update on Nutmeg's day. Nutmeg, uh, my uh, sister-in-law, she came by and she has a, a, a small puppy. So they went out on a walk together. Uh, Helene took her, uh, took, took Nutmeg with... Yo, he's so asleep. He is <laughs> absolutely out cold. So he's been going through, I don't know if it's like a phase. He doesn't, he doesn't want to sleep in his crate for some reason now like you know how like the the, the gray you know crate that i usually have there he, yeah. he normally would just go in and sleep and he's been like either even, even though he's tired beyond belief can barely keep his head up can't keep his eyes open you put him in the crate he starts crying he, he's just like it doesn't but he'll only now go to sleep outside of the crate this has been like the like the last like two three days he's just like been difficult to get in there uh, to do that. But he also I'm telling you, dude, you just got to get rid of the dog. <laughs> I mean, it's just how are you supposed to get an idea of what it wants? He just but he also can't like um, he can't sleep comfortably when he's not in the crate. So I don't understand what he wants because because he's suffering. Uh, the crate is covered by uh, S. Fogs uh, is, is mentioning it. crate is covered. It's never been an issue up until this week. And so please let me know. <laughs> Thank you uh, for the sub sub architect. Yeah, we appreciate it. Can we it. talk yeah. about why your dog sleeps with half of its the rear end of its body <laughs> on something I and don't. the rest of it on the floor? That can't be good for his back. The dog's going to have scoliosis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know his deal. Uh, he, he clearly has a bed that's comfortable uh, but refuses to use it. Uh, it makes when I was a little kid, I'm talking about a little kid. My mother thought there was something wrong with me. Turns out she was right. But the reason she thought that <laughs> was because I wouldn't sleep on the pillow. I would just, I would push like all the foam, you know, like I would push the inside, the pillow itself up and I would sleep on just the pillow cover okay. on the bed. So she's like, you're not using it right. And I'm like, well, if I put my head on top of it, it's very uncomfortable. She's like, there's something wrong with this boy. Uh, Glenster, and, uh, Glenster yeah. 25 just said the floor is cooler. That's why. 
But uh, what his ass isn't? His ass is too hot. <laughs> It doesn't get, it doesn't make sense. He wants his ass warm. He wants his head cold. Okay. Jay Freeberg 26 says Alexis probably sleeps like that. Honestly, you know what? There was, there's been plenty of times where I, one time I was so drunk, I fell asleep with my back on the floor, but my legs on the bed. So I looked like I was sitting like the chair had <laughs> fallen, I fell backwards. Yes. Yes. You know yes. What I mean? <laughs> um, oh, Colo Blanco's also straight. Colo, shut your stream off. <laughs> well, <laughs> Don't you know you. when we come on? <laughs> oh, incredible. Uh, welcome, Colo Blanco. Thanks the for disrespect, coming. disrespect, Colo. <laughs> Thanks for coming through. Uh, yes. Uh, I, was, I mean, Colo, Colo Blanco. Okay. Now that, uh, now that he is here, we can, we can do the joke again. Uh, there you go. Uh, so, yes, uh, obviously, we, we can't start this show without uh, mentioning uh, Diego Maradona, right? Obviously. Uh, R.I.P. to the uh, to the legend. Yeah. I mean, just... not even the legend. It feels like he's he made the sport so big that he became almost bigger than the sport. Does that make sense? Yeah. Which is co- uh, common. Right. We have the we have the Michael Jordans of the world. We have. The bronze. He's bigger than Michael Jordan. Oh, without a doubt. I'm just saying, but like that that example of like the, the the reason people pay attention to sports is not really just solely for the sport, right? It's like the 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 characters that are. It's like a it's a movie for us, right? Yeah. And and the characters themselves are what make it more intriguing, or what make the storylines, uh, 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 you know, uh, more entertaining and things like that. And. I mean, look. actually, the 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 Ahmed Abi, I mean, Ahmed Ab, Abdi said, uh, R.I.P. the legend, unless you're English. I got to be honest, even English fans are going ham right now. Like they're going nuts. They're like, he was a legend. He was the best. He was this. He was that. Like, I'm sure at the time of the hand of God, that hurt. But they had, you got to look back and be like, yeah, I mean, he was great. I'm a Viet fan said R.I.P. to Alexis is dead. Yes. Yeah, if, if you don't remember, obviously, when the revelation that we discovered that, that Diego Maradona had a uh, somewhat it, was it an Ill- illegitimate child in Cuba? Three. He, three. That he's, he's three that he knows of. That he knows three illegitimate it. children in Cuba. Yeah. And he, he basically kind of attests it to uh, having too much money and making poor decisions. That, that is how he refers to those, yeah. <laughs> that side of his family. Uh, Which I got to be honest, right? If you, if I'm your child, that's something you probably say. <laughs> um, so we, yeah, we discovered and we've confirmed uh, that Diego Maradona is Alexis's father ba- yeah. ba- based on uh, the very little uh, research and evid- evidence that we looked at. It's into. mostly circumstantial evidence, but I'll take it. <laughs> Miru Nation said, hot take Maradona is better than Jordan, better than Peel, but he used the greater than symbol so uh pele i'm sorry and at first i looked at that and i thought he said maradona is greater than jordan peele and i'm like well yeah (laughs) okay i mean look (laughs) titans of their industry but i'm gonna have to give it to diego on this one (laughs) yeah yeah look i mean i loved get out as much as the next guy (laughs) but uh yeah no diego maradona wins this (laughs) this match (laughs) um but now man we found that obviously we found out today like everyone else and uh have you ever had to explain to anyone who doesn't like soccer like how significant Pele is? Have you ever had to do that? Pele or Maradona? I'm sorry, Maradona. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, I I met, I told my girlfriend today Diego Maradona died, and she hit me with the "Who's that?" And that's when you know you really want to just end things. You're end like things. my divorce attorney. <laughs> get out. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna propose, and we're gonna get married right now, so that I can divorce you. All right. <laughs> just so you need to understand how devastating this is for me. I love you to death. Will you marry me? I want a divorce. <laughs> okay. We're gonna move this relationship quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're going to feel a lot of highs and a lot of lows all, right. all today. <laughs> um, no, I mean, most people, uh, you know, obviously he's just an absolute legend. But if you didn't pay attention to soccer, you could understand why, you know, you wouldn't know who he was. But well, he- I told a friend of mine, I'm, I was like, imagine, imagine Michael Jordan. But the whole world is Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That that's probably not even hitting the height of Diego Maradona's like sort of infamy, you know? Yeah. I mean, he, he's just, uh, I mean, few people will be as famous, uh, as, as this man, you know what I mean? Like the, yeah. the, there's just, uh, you know, from, from a, like a, it re- sort of reminds me of, and I, and I think about, um, Ellie Menjum's Darby days when you saw the Boca river 
uh, uh, Super Clásico. Mm -hmm. When you watch that and you you see how, uh, I mean, fanat I mean, it's it's fanatical. It, it is just absolute. You you know you don't see the way Argentinians love their sport and the the way they love soccer is is the the equivalent of a, it's cultish. It is a religion. It is. And, and Maradona was that leader, you know, yeah. of that cult. Like if he told them to to what was it? Who's the dude that told him to drink to some juice or whatever? That uh, was that the Waco guy? Who was the guy that? No, uh, that was uh, Jim Jones in Guyana. Drink the Kool Aid. The yeah, That's yeah, where it comes from yeah. I mean, this is how influential Maradona was, and he was just so obviously he's just so good at the game, and and it's like as a as a you know when you're young. Uh, and you have never seen anyone dominate games the way he did. And he was so, he was like, he was so small. He wasn't physically stronger than everyone. He was just, he had this level of balance and style and skill that like, it made no sense to anybody. If and you were, if you didn't know anything about soccer and you were doing a pickup game, you wouldn't pick him. You <laughs> just from looking at him, even in his prime, when he was like much thinner, you'd be like, and the guy's got great thighs, but what am I? You know, I mean, beautiful okay. hair, but let's not get crazy. All right, but we, we ain't doing the BBW magazine. Okay, we're playing soccer <laughs> you know I mean? here. Look, I like them thick. You know what I'm saying? But that's not what this is about. I'm trying to pick a soccer team. Here. I mean, call me later, my dude. You know? Okay. But okay, all my friends and family are here watching this. We can't do this. <laughs> Jesus, have some respect. My girl can see it. Uh, but no, nah, man, it's just and unfortunate, right? And um, it, it, look, and, and you really the dude he's only sick he was only 60 years old so it, by not old really by by 2020 standards not old uh but the man lived hard uh, he lived about 120 years in that 60 years yeah uh, and also like weren't you kind of shocked when you found out it was 60 because at the same time it felt way too old and it way too young you know what I mean? I, <laughs> like I, looking at him, I'm like, he could have been 80 or 42. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's just it's it's a uh, you know the, the last couple of years, especially the last um, the uh, at the World Cup at the Men's World Cup, you know, seeing him be he was getting to he was embarrassing people, right? It was getting it was getting to a point where it was concerning his like his outbursts and the middle fingers and and who knows? I don't know. But if that he, was fun though, right? We enjoyed it. But that's the thing, and and it, but that happens with a lot of people, right? Where where they're like, you know, the dude who the, you have, you, everybody has a friend that's like they're they're drunk or they they do some drugs and they're fun, but at, it it cross it gets to a point where you're like you're a little bit like, oh, is this dude okay? Because I know he's, I mean, he's great at parties, but is he actually doing any harm to himself? And and I right. think that that's and, and that's the struggle that people have with Diego Maradona, where where it's like you want to praise him for being this godlike hero and being so skilled and being one of the best people at at their profession that has ever kind of existed and then you also have to deal with the very human side of him that of like he had problems and he he lived hard and 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 a lot of the problems were caused by just being famous i mean we've seen this with with child stars and and it happens all the time um but the the legacy that he left as far as from a footballing culture is incomparable right i mean it's just he, he's a legend and he's he's earned that um but that d didn't mean that he was he was perfect by any means and but that's what and makes even him if a you complex him, figure even even if you hate diego maradona you cannot take away how he essentially begat so many players. He inspired so many people to become soccer players that probably the overwhelming majority of the players you like today playing yeah. are in some way attributed to the things Diego Maradona did on the field. And I'm not saying that they wouldn't have played without that inspiration, but a lot of it is because of that inspiration, because of just the, the, the majestic sort of, uh, you know, capabilities that he had just the, the ability for him to play the game at the level he did is what made him great like if the first time i was shown the hand of god you know uh goal i was like ah, what's so special about this the guy hit it with his head he got big hair i don't get it you know what i mean <laughs> but like when you take into account who he was and the stage it was at and you know all the things attached to it you're just like oh my god you know everything he did was always on the grandest of stages and it always felt like 
he it, there wasn't enough pressure you know what i mean yeah that could be put on that man you know what i mean yeah and a lot of people i i, I like all the comments and people are you know svog 99 <laughs> said that without diego there is no messi which uh it's yeah i mean with, without a doubt i mean i think he he allowed short dudes to have confidence that they could find a, a, a you know a, a, a place in on the team and you know because when you think of Okay, if Diego Maradona was English, okay, uh, you know, if he was uh, Dieguish Maragonish or whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just whatever, uh, just some from Wales or something. Uh, if he was in Danny Mare Dornich, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, all right. <laughs> um, if if he was in uh, England playing at that time he probably doesn't even make a team, you know what I mean? Or he's not really, oh, he's playing in like the fourth, fifth division somewhere because he's like, he's too small. And right. Because, it, you know, soccer in, in, in the, you know, in the 70s and 80s was big, big old toothless men uh, clanking around, overs. bumping into each other. <laughs> that was the just, game back then. Just a lot of comb overs, <laughs> <laughs> a lot of smoking cigarettes during the match. You know? Um, but but no, I he he definitely changed uh kind of like what I think what people thought the sport could look like, and uh it, yeah, it's just it's it's insane. It, I mean, look, it, it's a a it, the, the, he's just an incredible figure, and you know, to be honest, like it, there's a. You know, you almost I, when he when I saw that he was 60 years old, it, 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 I felt like what you what kind of what you said, Alexis, where like you, you I didn't realize he was that old, but that also feels very young. But you also there's also a part of me that's like, how did he live that long? Because he yeah. was just so, doing so much crazy shit uh, to himself. And I'm glad he did uh, live as long as he did. But it's just like, I, I think, you know, you know, I mean, not to get too, too personal, but when you have family members and, and people that deal with like addiction and things like that, it's, it's that that's the part of it that it's difficult for me to praise someone so much because it, it, it brings up kind of those like bad kind of feeling because you know what kind of that behavior kind of leads to. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing is, like, thank you, Napoli, uh, for uh, having bad cocaine, because if his cocaine was too pure, <laughs> he yeah. would not have made it to 60. You know what I mean? OK, thank you for cutting it, cutting it up, you know, thank you for stepping it. on that package, my G. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Gamora. You know? If you haven't seen the um, uh, the documentary, uh, the Maradona documentary on HBO, it's great. Uh, and you kind of get to I didn't really know that much about his time in Italy. And you really. I mean, he was again. He's just, just unbelievably, f a s absolute superstar. And and the the world is different now because it, it, there weren't that many people that famous, like to, to to his level. I mean, yeah, you had a you had the celebrity here and there. Even if you're a Hollywood celebrity, you're not even close to what Maradona was at right. at his peak. And you know, now there's something now. I think because of social media. There's people are they, they can under they can grasp the concept of fame. You have a viral tweet, you do a video, and now all of a sudden, uh, you know, you're like a lot of people know who you are. Um, but because now you know, not be every, every if you have social media, you have the potential to be famous, and uh, but but even still, you do not have the potential to be as famous as Maradona was. Just like literally, cannot walk down the street, cannot go anywhere. The like it it was. Um, you know, it, it's it's probably what led to a lot of the uh, you know, addiction issues and and things like that. Like it, it's a it was a tough time. So th there's a part of me that feels bad for what Maradona had had to go through. But we can't just forget that you know he has illegitimate children <laughs> all yeah. over the world and things like that. So yeah, by no means a dude. The homie couldn't keep his dick to himself. You know, he <laughs> loved, he loved sharing it, but like. What I love about it, and especially having been married to 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 a family from Naples, like I can't explain to you, like when you think of New York, you think of like the, the most basic mainstream idea of New York involves like the skyline, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe the Brooklyn Bridge, you know what I mean? Maybe a taxi, you know, Frank Sinatra, maybe Times Square. Those are icons of New York. Those are images that you conjure up when you think of New York. When you think of Naples, you think of in order. You think of pizza, Diego Maradona, 
Sophia Loren. Those are the three. <laughs> and I'm not, it's, it's hard to explain, but like the way, like uh, if a New Yorker moved to Europe, he might, or she might get like a poster or a painting of Times Square or the skyline. You know what I mean? Something to remind you from home for people who own pizza restaurants in New York for, that are from Naples. It's almost a given. You're not from Naples. If you don't have a photo of Diego Maradona, it's like, it's not even, it, it, it almost has like, there's no correlation that it's soccer. It is. That is Naples. Yeah. Diego Maradona is Naples. A dude from Argentina is the patron saint of Naples. In fact, the Napoli, the soccer team is thinking of changing their stadium name or not thinking they're going to from San Paolo to Diego Maradona Stadium. <laughs> they're getting rid of a name of a, of a saint and they're putting in the name of a god in that city. <laughs> okay, finally, an upgrade, okay? You know, we uh, need to go up this ladder. I love uh, Northwood Guitar said, Italian cocaine is inferior coke. And I'm starting to realize how much cocaine activity uh, has happened in this chat. I don't know. I, I feel Can like... Can I tell you something? There's no, there's no uh, Cooligans fandom without a couple of mistakes in your life. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can't say I've done uh, cocaine. Uh, I can't say it, so I won't. Uh, <laughs> I, legally, you know, my parole officer is just off the shot right I here. Always, I, I've always mentioned the, the first time I saw uh, someone do cocaine was be, uh, a, a, after a stand-up show. And this was in at the Village Lantern. Uh, and uh, this is after a show. People know Andrew Schultz and Akash Singh are, are flagrant too. They were there, a bunch of other comics. And we were hanging out in the showroom after uh, after the show, so no, no one's there. And then some guy who was at the show, uh, he went up to the bar. He came back down, and he was like, oh, you guys, you guys are so funny. I, c I could do comedy too. And literally uh, uh, does a key of cocaine <laughs> he does he sniffs it goes on stage and starts word for word doing eddie murphy's delirious like he just yeah. starts doing somebody I mean, <laughs> technically you are doing you stand up, are. but it's someone else's stand up <laughs> uh and it was just surreal uh and after like maybe three or four minutes it like three four minutes in it was like pretty funny and then after that we were like all right this guy's high on cocaine doing eddie murphy's uh delirious we, we, he has to stop, and then we told him to leave. Uh, a key, yes. A, oh, not a not a key low, not a key. <laughs> no, like Nick a Lane. key bump, like off like of a bump key. off of off of a key. That that is the the best uh, from my from my understanding. The best cocaine delivery system. Uh, it's apparently <laughs> it's certainly effective. You know what I mean? If you've got one of those little vials. Uh, but I still remember, like when I was a kid, there was like this dude that used to sell weed. So seeing weed around his place wasn't a big deal. But then we saw like, you know, like seven Ziploc bags all, you know, mm. and you could see the object inside, you know, the seventh one of those in there was white. We were like, oh, he's he got a promotion at work. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, I love these questions. North of Guitar also asked Christian as a white guy, when will you actually start to age? I don't you know what? I'll answer this. It's going to happen abruptly. And it's kind of scary, <laughs> but this is the thing that happens that a lot of Latinos like, yo, know, you get to a certain age, you'll look 16 until the day you look 45. I don't it's know. It's going to be overwhelming. I mean, also my mom, uh, who is uh, 63 uh, or 64, something like that. Um, she looks like she's in her 40s so i i'm if if it goes in that direction and uh you know i'm i'm, con I'm continuing to be with a nutritionist uh i i think i will live twice as long as diego maradona if you know <laughs> yeah, well, if, if you're lucky if i'm lucky uh so uh and how do i stay looking so young great question uh, <laughs> oh thank you for that <laughs> it's uh oh look it's oh you didn't see it it's in the chat it's, uh, somewhere at the top. uh it's mostly a lot of the preservatives i eat i like to think <laughs> Oh, I like this. Stephen Jumbo just said, I read a news article that, uh, that about that. They were shipping Coke to Italy inside coffee beans. Mm. Mm. That's Let me tell you something. You want to wake <laughs> up in the morning, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's pretty wild. Um, uh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, oh, Northwood Guitar said, Alexis, dude, you're looking great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. I'm, so... Just a, a, a crazy day uh, uh, with uh, Diego Maradona. And, and, you know, actually, uh, speaking of uh, people who have passed, we should also mention the uh, we, we put this out on social media, um, the the patch, the hello and welcome patch for 
Daryl Grove is um, available now for pre-order. Uh, I will put the link. Uh, the link is right there uh, in the chat. Um, and uh, I mean, this is surreal. We uh, announced it yesterday and we've already at had like 3.30. Yes. And we've already had, I mean, I think we're at like 700 orders, pre-orders for the, for yeah. the patch. It's absolutely insane. And, you know, once again, there's the, there's the patch. It's beautiful. Uh, obviously, hello and welcome. The iconic opening to every, uh, you know, uh, Total Soccer Show episode uh, that uh, obviously that uh, Daryl Grove was on. Um, and what a better statement than what than, than hello and welcome. And obviously he was a big fan of Wolverhampton. So, you know, legally we can't say it looks a little bit like Wolverhampton's logo, <laughs> but you know, no, I've, I've <laughs> that's seen, a weird I've, stop sign. I've never <laughs> seen their logo. I, I, I don't <laughs> even know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, but so, no, thank you uh, to I'm yeah, sure there's people here that, that have uh, picked one up. Thank you so much uh, for, for doing that. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, all, all the proceeds will go directly to uh, Daryl's family to help uh, cover the medical costs. There's a, a, just an insane uh, amount of medical costs uh, for you know after his battle uh, with cancer, and uh, we want to help <clears throat> any way we can. So uh, feel free uh, to pick one up. Uh, the, obviously, the link is right there in the chat. Lester asked how uh, big it is, and we actually added the dimensions to yes, the uh, to the website. It is right there. It is hexagon shaped, and it is three inches tall by three point five inches wide. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty big. It's perfect for a sleeve if it's uh, perfectly <clears throat> on there. Um, so, yeah, feel free to pick one up. We appreciate it. I, the, the level of uh, uh, support is uh, is great. And, um, you know, I know uh, Taylor and, and, and Daryl's wife, Shannon, uh, really, really appreciate it. So it, it's great to see how much uh, people want to re have something to remember uh, Daryl by. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, and you know. huge shouts to On the Volley Apparel, who actually d made the, a couple of different designs. Mm -hmm. Their designers created a couple of different designs based on uh, some of the suggestions and some of, you know, Daryl's, you know, like sort of loves and likes. Um, and shouts to Shannon O'Neill, uh, Daryl's wife, who we sent her all of the mock-ups and that's the one she picked. And uh, mm -hmm. it was it was great to be able to work uh, with Taylor and with Shannon on something like this to honor uh, to honor Daryl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's move on uh, a couple things first. Uh, oh, you know what? We should shout out the, the shirts that we're wearing. Shout out to Adidas. That's right. Can you see that? Oh, geez. I'm going to pull the mic out. Yeah. Adidas sent us these Juve kits. Juventus. I got the, I don't, what would you call this? Cam not even camo. It looks, looks like, like an orange fire. I feel like I look like a Marvel table. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. countertop. <laughs> Let's just say if they did that in my size, people would start to put dinner on me. Uh, <laughs> and uh, dude, this one's clean as hell. I got to be completely honest with you. It's super just, clean. Just kick, kick, kick eight ED. Thank you so much for the follow. Um, but yes. Thank you. Shout out to, uh, to Adidas for, then, uh, for sending these. And they sent us a card. Do you have the card in front of you? I do not, but it's uh, Weston McKinney uh, basically saying how amazing it was that the first time he saw a Juve kit with his name on it and how much honor he has uh, and he honors playing for the team and he thanks to the fans all across the world. So, yo, shouts to McKinney, yeah. uh, who we cannot wait till you're balling in a World Cup, my G. Exactly. Or, you know, just simply on our show. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, also, I love a guy who does this. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's always fun. Uh, so, um, okay, where to begin uh, today? We're already having a couple. Space United FC just asked, how can we break down to some of our friends who are not typical soccer aficionados that Maradona is bigger than also the great star, Jordan? What's your take on that? We did mention this just a moment ago, so you might have gotten here a little bit late, uh, but just rewind on the podcast. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, uh, can you rewind on Twitch? I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> can you go back? <laughs> Buddy, go back. Um, but uh, yes, so let, let's uh, let's move on. Um, where to where to begin? Uh, do we want to just look at where we are with the the, the Premier League table right now? Uh, because your do we favorite have team to? is in first place. The team who was collapsing, falling apart, had no no chance. Nothing was gonna happen. They they, they had no idea what was going on. Mourinho was gonna have a a, a a tit tat with with Gareth Bale and Harry Kane doesn't want to get assists. And uh, I yeah. never said any of those things. <laughs> yeah. Tottenham is sitting comfortably 
comfortably in first place. Uh, Not comfortably. They're 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 tied with Liverpool. First of all, I, but Chelsea's first, Chelsea and Leicester City are two points behind them, I, and even Southampton is one win away from being in first. This is where I want to the, 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 the where I want to give credit where credit is due for Tottenham is the goals allowed. They've only allowed nine goals. Uh, that's that is a Mourinho team. The bigger yeah. shock is the goal is the yeah. goals for the the fact that a Mourinho team has scored twenty one goals is a huge shock. <laughs> uh, uh, but look, Liverpool is missing their best defender, right? And they're still kind of getting their stuff together, mm-hmm. and they're they're not that far behind. Okay, and Chelsea, by the way, has the most goals scored in the league with twenty two, right? Which is a bigger shock. They just allowed one more. Okay. Uh, that's an even bigger shock. I think they've gone undefeated in the last 10 matches in all competitions. Chelsea's a bigger story than Tottenham. Not to shit on Tottenham. Congratulations, you first. Where's Arsenal? I don't want to talk about it. That's where Arsenal is. All right? uh, yeah, Arsenal. Somebody <clears throat> did ask about uh, about Arsenal. I forgot. Somebody just said, why is Arsenal so trash? Uh, I don't know who asked that, but it was definitely in the chat. And it wasn't just me saying that right now. I think you just made that up. <laughs> um, the... What was the the red card, ne- Nicolas Pepe? Right, that was last week. Uh, that was at, uh, over the weekend. What's up with your boy? Uh, what? <laughs> why did? Why did I'm he? This, have, why did he have the headbutt a dude? I'm kind of this close. I don't want to say it. it feels like he's a bust. Does it? He's a good player. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. He's a good player. He is not a seventy million pound <laughs> player. A seventy million player. Yeah. He's just not. Uh, and I get why people are upset when he doesn't start. Willian is old. Willian is out in Dubai, you know, <laughs> eating with Salt Bay. And apparently he could just come right back in and play like nothing's happening. You know what I mean? Uh, I just said, we were missing a very important member of our team for a month, but Gonosaurus is back, baby. That's yeah. <laughs> he's going to fix it all. <laughs> I mean, I wish, I wish Gunnar sort of solved it. I don't know what the issue at at uh, at at uh, Arsenal is. And somebody said this. I think it was. Uh, let me find him. Oh, uh, Breezy C Four S. He said, "How long before the Alteta chant start?" Uh, oh, I like that hashtag Alteta. Not <laughs> not Arteta out, just no. Alteta. <laughs> Alteta, which which again, means very it, smart. Yeah, in Spanish that means um, titty out. If you don't know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, in English and Spanish, because "out" <laughs> isn't a Spanish word. It means yes to take your boob out. That's literally yeah. what, it's, what yeah. it's saying right there. So I'm like, so okay, I can't wait for that hashtag I'm, to start. You know what? I I see this hashtag. You know what? And I'm intrigued. I'm I'm clicking on this because I want to see. And also, we support. The ladies, all right? <laughs> so that's why we're looking at this on our phones, honey. Okay. You know what I mean? Hashtag, free the nipple. Hashtag free the, uh, the Arteta, okay? Yeah, free, yeah. <laughs> free the Teta. <laughs> free all Teta, you know? <laughs> um, so, um, but uh, look, our, I've said it before. I'll say it again. It feels like Arteta is going to be our manager for the next 20 years. Right now, it doesn't feel like he's going to be our manager for the next 20 matches. <laughs> um, but I do believe in his system. I do believe in his ability to get the team to play. I don't – the big issue right now – is that Obama Yang is not scoring. I don't know what's happening. If Obama Yang was scoring at the rate he was last season, we would not be in 12th right now, and this would not be But it's issue. so strange because last season was like six, seven weeks ago. What is, what is the, what has changed? He got paid. <laughs> yeah. He, he got ain't playing pay- for that contract no more. Oh, maybe. Um, nah, man, pretty surreal that, that, that the, uh, obviously, if, the, if Arsenal does not get that red card, um, I still think they lose against Leeds. They they did not look that great in that game. They uh, drew. What are you talking about? No, I'm saying I, I I'm saying that they uh, that they. Oh, you're right. You're right. I'm saying that um, if they that, that, that the point I was gonna make is that it's more disappointing that Leeds didn't win uh, over the fact that they, they right they really should have got those three points. If we look at it, Leeds is still a very strong team, and I know they haven't been playing great. They're what fifteenth. Uh, They're fourteenth. Yeah. They haven't been playing great, right? I get that. But they're still a very tough team to play, especially the way they play, especially they match up really well against Arsenal. And, yo, we pretty much held Bamford, right? I mean, the dude was doing his thing. We held them down. All I'm going to say is Arsenal went away and came out with a point. We need to do better. We haven't had uh, our form in the last few matches. It hasn't been great. But, yeah, we went, we went to Leeds. We went to Ellen Road, and we walked away 
with a point. Yeah. That's good. But Leeds we, hit the, I, mean, I believe they hit the post a couple times. Like it really somebody just Yes. Made, <laughs> I, I mean Abdi said that Leeds blew it. Yeah, they really had that game and uh did not close it out. Uh so it was unfortunate. Next up Leeds is playing against Everton. Uh so I'm excited to see what that that game will look like. That will be uh at home for for Everton. And let me say this, that in no way, shape, or form is anything from that match going to end up on the end of season Arsenal highlight reel. Okay? <laughs> that was absolutely all leads all day. We didn't look great, but we walked away with a point. Everybody eat some turkey. I know they don't celebrate Thanksgiving out there, but Arteta, give these guys some turkey, take a nap, and then wake up and play better this weekend, please. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the table, uh, it's... Not I, now it's sort of adjusting, you know, Villa's losing some matches. Uh, uh, now it, it, it's starting to feel a bit more uh, normal, uh, but we will see. Everton did win their uh, their game uh, against Fulham. Not super convincingly, but uh, but they did do it. Uh, and I, I think the main thing Fulham has uh, Adam Ola Lookman, who was a, an Everton player. I think he came up with Everton Academy and he was he was playing you know, with, with, it was invigorated. He was like, I'm, I'm trying to do everything I can to hurt this team. As much yeah. As show these man, show these mans what they did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but Fulham, uh, they got, they got a lot to figure out and they, they are also, they're not great. Uh, and I'm kind of expecting another, uh, relegation, uh, for them. The big, I, I would say the biggest surprise, uh, on the table, Sheffield United in last place, Sheffield United was like fighting for a Europa League spot last season, and now they are brutally bad. You think that's a bigger that's a bigger shock than Southampton in fifth or Manchester City in thirteenth? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a. It, I mean, Southampton in fifth. I doesn't feel like it's gonna last too long. But I don't know. I, the, look, I put it in the Slack. It's one of the things I want to talk about. They had that horrific 9-0 loss last year. Remember that? The worst loss in Premier League history? Mm -hmm. Yo, look at look what they've done since they came back. I forget the guy's name, but it's so fun to say. It's like Hudzel Huddle. <laughs> Hudzel Huddle. <laughs> whatever the guy that coaches last name. Please. Hounds uh, Huddle. Luke Sturgeon. Put it in the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, phonetically. <it's> not, <laughs> he's just going to put hyphens in the, the man's name. <laughs> look at What is it? Southampton's uh, manager. I don't know what. Uh, what the Ralph. Name. Hans and Hoodle. Hans and Hoodle. Oh. Mm. oh, it's so great. It sounds it's like, like, a, like it's like a, a snack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want some Hans and Hoodle? You're like, you know what? Does it have booze in it? You know? <laughs> oh, man. He's Austrian. But the dude, I mean, that's the dude who sat through the 9 0 loss and he completely turned this team around. Yeah. And yo, Ings is bowling. Oh, well, Ings, Ings is like regularly, like, you know, top scorer in the prep. Like, he's high up there. He's always, I mean, they, they lose a lot of games. Um, but as far as Not like this year, <laughs> but as far as like just getting goals, that's, you know, that's the dude. He, he does his job. His, he's looking at his defenders like, yo, I'm trying my best. I don't know if you're really doing what you need to be doing. I mean, I'm out here bowling. Maybe y'all should learn from me. <laughs> you know? Should I defend as well? I don't really know. It's <laughs> difficult for me to be in two places at once. Should I get the whiteboard? You want me to do the whole thing? <laughs> okay. It's Ings World, baby. Ings <laughs> sounds like we don't know the whole name. You know? <laughs> like, hey, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just Danny... Yeah. Um, Ings, 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 Ings. <laughs> Just go with Ings. <laughs> Put Ings on the back of the jersey. <laughs> oh man! Uh, but yeah, no. I mean, Southampton is absolutely. I don't. I'm not going to sit here and say incredible. I'm not going to sit here and say that they're going to be. They're going to end the season in in fifth or better. But we're already what nine matches in. You know what I mean? Yeah. For all intents and purposes, we're just about a third of the way through the season. Yo, Christmas ain't that far. That's typically where, you know, where you sit at the halfway point is kind of like who you really are. You know what I mean? You could change it, but that's still who you really are. Dog, I could see Southampton being at least in the top six come Christmas time. Uh, I mean, look, the when as soon as they signed the, the giant Theo Walcott, Okay. I mean, look, are you the boy really went that, home? <laughs> is, it, is it really that much of a surprise? Uh they I should have that. signed. They should have signed Gareth Bale too, because he's from the Southampton Academy. So is Theo Walcott. Mm. Both of them go home. You know what I mean? Yeah. Psh, they win the league. <laughs> the uh, Theo Walcott did just get his uh, first goal for Southampton in 15 years. Uh, in what? 
he scored the other day. It was the first time, 15 years apart, that he had scored for uh, for Southampton. Yeah, he's been, he's old, right? Isn't that weird that he's that old? He doesn't Especially seem like he's that old. Haircut wise, it looks like he's trying to get on leads. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. He's doing the man bun. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That, that's, but yeah, it doesn't feel that old. That is the, uh, the you know, when you go to the interview for leads, they're like, you know, you got to dress appropriately. And that is, <laughs> that is what's required. Um, Somebody put on Twitter, no one, and then there's nothing after it leads and it's a guy sitting on a barber chair <laughs> with a fade and a, and a, and a man bun <laughs> oh my goodness uh alex uh actually uh, chamberlain too is he uh also old nah, but he doesn't seem that old yeah he seems like another dude that uh the old was part old of the english squad in 2008 yeah man he's, he, I, he wait a minute he might be from he might be from uh southampton is what the point is because he's from portsmouth which is right there yeah, okay. he's another Southampton Academy player. Yeah, that's right. Arsenal did just like raid the Southampton uh Academy. So, um yeah, the um what was the other one? Uh yeah, so- Southampton actually that w- was the, their last match. They drew against um against Wolverhampton and Wolverhampton's been a, a, a team they 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 stay are they're like consistently in they they just they're never they're not too bad they're not too good uh you would want to see a little bit of uh like more uh, improvement uh on their part but they don't uh, they're always kind of disappointing i'm i'm like i want more kind of excitement out of their games and they they've kind of let me down a little bit i mean i also feel like they kind of got figured out a little bit it feels like people kind of now know how to play against Adama Traore you know what i mean yeah, yeah. i mean i i can't in fifa they do unstoppable why is he so fast yeah, no, he is a beast. It's, so it's, in I, FIFA, he's has he's, he gotten called up by Spain yet? He did. He just played in the, the last international break. I hope they take him serious, man, because he'd be great on that team. It's funny in FIFA, he's so fast, um, but he beats everybody, and he'll he'll beat my defender, and then when, as soon as he's like one v one with the keeper, just shanks it into the stands. <laughs> they got so yeah, <laughs> they've done their research. <laughs> <laughs> they they put put a little bit like the rating should be a little bit better. He's not that bad, um, dude. They beat Everton, uh, Southampton, Southampton. Yes, yeah, and that game was like embarrassing. That was the one, oh, but that was no Richarlison, um, and no, there was somebody else missing. Uh, but you got yeah. a red card too. Yeah, South, South, Southampton. Uh, they looked. Uh, yeah, they they look great at the, against Everton. Um, and they drew against Chelsea. I mean, I know they lost bad against Tottenham, but they also drew against Chelsea too. South, shouts to Southampton, man. Maybe when I finally stop being an Arsenal fan, I'll be a Southampton fan. <laughs> That's <sounds. laughs> Um. So yeah. So there has been. Uh, what Diogo the- Jota was from Southampton as well. Really. Damn, he, he's Portuguese. He he came. He went through. Oh no, the, that Wolves. I think he's from Wolves. He is. He played at Wolves and then went. And now he's at Liverpool. Yeah, it would be this when you were talking about Wolves. Okay, okay. Adama uh, Glenser said, yeah, "Wolves done change the league, running huh? back who plays soccer. You ain't you ain't lying." Uh, and Colablanca just said, "Look, it's skinny Adama Polanco. <laughs> 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 he has those those thick." Those thick braids on there. I, yeah, I his braids are no joke. I didn't want to do that. Oh, yeah. I mentioned it at the beginning of the stream before we started recording. But any questions you have about my braids, feel free to ask them. This is the first time I ha- I've i ever gotten braids. I'm happy to talk about the experience. Uh, have you gotten braids? Uh, are you considering them? I'm, I oh, can... I thought you were asking me. Yeah, oh. I had them. I you think did? I told you that, right? Yeah. When, when did you do that? So in high school, I used to always have a fade, right? Always had a fade. Always had the sides faded up. I always had the top buzz real short. Uh, never had to worry about doing my hair, any of that. And then just before senior year, I lose a ton of weight. You know what I mean? No, no, I don't know what you mean. Please explain. What's no, I <laughs> went I went from normal people to you. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. You were, uh, you were dealing with some severe depression hit you. Uh, probably actually, if I look <laughs> back, but, um, which we'll call it. So I lost a ton of weight, right? I started dressing nice. And then I just decided like, yo, I'm tired of getting a fade. I've been getting fades my whole life. You know what I mean? Or at least since I've cared about haircuts, let me just grow my hair out. And dude, I just started wolfing. Like I just started, like I had like, my hair was just constantly up and out. And then if like I laid or something on one side, it'd just be flattened. Cause I don't have like, my hair's not that curly. It's wavy. You know what I mean? So it would just flatten up. So I didn't know what to do. So I went to my buddy's apartment and he was the, remember the stories I've told you about, like the guy I knew who, who did dog fights. 
Yes. Did I ever tell you about him? Yeah. So that's he also cut hair, right? So, you know, very <laughs> multi-talented, you know. <laughs> what a multifaceted, multi-dimensional young man. He yo, he he fixed cars, he did dog <laughs> fights, he cut hair, and he sold mixtapes. It was wow. great. So my uh, friend like, Michael oh, Vick, he also played in the NFL. <laughs> yeah, have you met him before? <laughs> he got famous. Uh, so he anyway, the dude was great, and he is like all the DJ Clue shit. That's who I got it from. Mm-hmm. But long story short, he's like fade my hair, and he was like he was like starting to cut my hair. He's like, dude, you should you should do braids, and I was like, dude, I won't look good in braids. Like I'll do it in a second. So all I remember from the braids was like. Like my eyebrows felt like they were like this the whole time. Yeah, it was really uncomfortable, and I had those like the same rubber bands that kids put in their braces. Sure, sure. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those were all in my hair, just all <laughs> over the place, holding it. It was parted down the middle, and it was like two sides of the braid. Very not too dissimilar from yeah, yours, yeah. but mine didn't. I didn't have like the curl. Mine were just like a bunch of lines going back. I looked like a parquet floor. And uh, I got home and my, my mother was like, Get going, you know? <laughs> she's like, what? Get and she was like, shit out of your hair. She's like, you know, she's like, she's like, you can't even wash your hair. And I'm like, no, I'll put the stockings on. She's like, get that fucking thing out of here. <laughs> so I, I think it lasted like two days before it started to get like real ratty. And I was like, all right, I'm done with this. Uh, Glenser asked, how long did it take? It took about um, a little, maybe like an hour and like 45 minutes. Uh, yeah, mine did not take that long. It, is it pretty, also did not look that good. <laughs> it's pretty intricate. Obviously, you see these these two long braids on the side, and then each one going down the center of my head. Uh, then then there's two on the side here that go all the way down to the back, and there's like if you can see, it's a little long too. I didn't realize my hair would be this long. Yeah, you kept saying you're gonna grow it out, grow it out, and I think everyone was like, "Nah, fam, you good? Get your hair <laughs> braided." <laughs> Paulo in uh, Minnesota said, this is a soccer show if anyone needed a reminder. Yeah. You know that what? That is true. Braids are, are very big in soccer, so it, it, it warrants some discussion about it. We were talking about haircuts, okay, for <laughs> soccer players. But it also reminds me, uh, we will answer what a Latino Thanksgiving is like at the end of this episode. So, right. you know, we can't do it now because we're talking actual soccer. I, I, you know, I, I eat hair, but <laughs> we will get there. <laughs> Um, okay. The uh anything we what, talked what? about this. Let's talk about this, right? Um, which I'm gonna call it. Uh Man United should play the Champions League music before all Premier League home games and not tell the players it's a domestic match. Now, the reason you, why this is genius is because Manchester United, not that great in the league. Mm-hmm. Where are they? I mean, I know they're better than Arsenal, they're in 10th, right? <laughs> they're doing better than our doing better than Arsenal, they're certainly not better than Arsenal. But in Champions League, they are unstoppable. Even Liverpool lost today against uh, Atalanta. Yeah, we, this was a, a a tweet from Andy Mitten, right? Uh, from, uh, what is he? he? He writes for 442 Magazine. Uh, oh, yeah. he's a journalist. He writes for a bunch of stuff. But this is a, this is a, a very good point because uh, they did win the, uh, they, they won yesterday, right? They played, um, yep. uh, uh, what's the name of the team? Istanbul, Istanbul. Basak Shahir. Yes, we always have. Uh, it's always it's a challenging one. Uh, it might be Basaksa here. Yes, put it phonetically in the chat. You know the rules. Uh, Stirgu, hit us. <laughs> the, Sturgio. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, um, the 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 goal from Bruno Fernandez was really was like the the, the highlight. I mean, he Incredible. absolutely cracked it. It was beautiful. Um, but there would there is something I I don't know what happened to Manchester United in the the Premier League. Um, that is, I, they, they just lose some sense of, I don't know if it's confidence, uh, or, or is it, look, when you're playing in champions league, the, you know, the teams are, some teams are weaker playing some team from Eastern Europe, not going to be good a, a, as good as some, uh, you know, as a premier league team, we, we all understand that, but you would expect a little bit more if they can do this. Uh, in general, in a, a you know, at the Champions League level, they should be able to do like well, I don't know seventy five percent of it as far as the quality in Premier League. But they, they, they let's don't. not forget though that they lost to Istanbul. And hold on, someone put it in the uh, chat. Let me see if I can pull it up. All right, Nero Nation said it's Besak Shayakur, Besak Shayakir, Shayakur, whatever Besak Shayakur. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, I can't do it. All right. Shouts to all my Istanbul heads. I can't do it. Right. But they lost to them 2 one. So it's not like they're not susceptible. And we would all say there's not a team in in all of the Turkish leagues that should be able to compete with your Champions League level English clubs. Right. They're just that doesn't exist, because yeah. especially like Besiktas, a lot of these guys, they'll take on some of the, you know, castaways from these big matches. But a lot of the Champions League matches have been have been upside down. Right. I mean, your PSGs and stuff have lost. It's not been an easy going for the big names. But yeah, I mean, they seem like they play scared in the domestic league. Right. Yeah. But in Champions League, they're like, oh, it's like when you go to a new school. Like, remember, like, did you ever get invited to a girl's dance from a different school? Nah, man, I wasn't that cool. I don't know. What to tell you. <laughs> you talk to girls. In high school? <laughs> okay. Remember, I was fat, everybody. Look, and was, how did I get this? <laughs> high school was very challenging for me. OK, was it? All right. Look, that's why I have my braids now in my 30s, bro. <laughs> yeah. Things didn't go well for me. <laughs> this is your third life crisis. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I got invited to a girl's dance from a different school. And mm-hmm. when you do, no one knows who you are. So mm-hmm. you walk in. You know, look, ha- people could think you're the corniest dude in the world, but you walk around with all the confidence in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're just as far like... as you're concerned, you're mi- you're mysterious. You know? <laughs> oh, everybody wants to get to know me. Yeah. You know? uh, yeah. Look, it's it's kind of a surprise. I mean, I I don't know. I mean, what's the um... By the way, Luke Luke stared you said he was the vice president of the modeling club. And that is also true. <laughs> so so all, I knew how to walk with confidence. You it, know, it all makes sense. Look, I'm, Manchester United, at the very least, have won their last two games. Uh, Golo just put up a, a, a poll. Who was cooler in school? Christian, Alexis, Golo or yourself? <laughs> I do. Actually, there was one of the, the, the poll that was just uh, before that was, do we like uh, Christian's braids? And it won. You said yes, one. Yes, one. But there was one person who voted nah. <laughs> Show yourself, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Say it to my face. <laughs> Say it to my brain. <laughs> who are you? How dare you? Okay. <laughs> uh, who was cooler in school? Yeah, I mean, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give it to Alexis because. You may have been cooler, but you also, with that coolness, came a criminal record. All right. I'm good. <laughs> I <laughs> no, did not, not deal real. with that. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that the judges that were sealed. <laughs> I mean, okay. I, I am glad uh, I was a minor at the time. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis was the bully. I was not, man. I was the guy everybody liked. Okay. Uh, and what happened to that? That's changed. Huh? <laughs> Dude, you know, you start speaking your opinion on the internet and it all goes away. Um, uh, but yeah, the, uh, a couple of the notable results from champions league, uh, that I thought <laughs> Luke stared, you said he was a criminally good model. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. He's <laughs> killing it today. <laughs> um, the, oh, the call of said, how do I have more votes than Christian? All right. I wasn't boring. Let's just get, <laughs> let's get that straight. I just, I just didn't, um, I didn't drink. I didn't smoke. I didn't like. I, I didn't do bad things so that other kids would be like, oh, let's invite Christian places. I was the dude who fixed computers and people would buy mix CDs and uh, illegal uh, burned uh, like bootleg PlayStation games. That's what people can. That's why they came to me. All right. <laughs> I won with 44%, by the way. But let me tell you something. That's not even enough for a... We got to do a runoff now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's Georgia now. Uh, <laughs> The uh, okay, some of the uh, oh, Robert from LA said, Did Alexis or Christian go to their 10th year high school reunion? My we didn't have any, we I didn't, didn't have, have one either. My, my, my high school was I went to a very small high school, um, and the people didn't really stay in touch like that. There isn't like that kind of level of you know, like an alma mater where like there's like an organization that somebody who's like keeps track of who went to the school and and what they're doing now and stuff like that I, like facebook obviously has has been uh, facebook has made 
high school reunions obsolete, right? Who, who needs them really anymore? Like you could. That's not true. I'm going to say this from everyone I know who went to high school reunions. Ashley Madison made them obsolete. <laughs> <laughs> well, the yeah, it's just like I, I already know. <laughs> I already know what everybody's up to. There's nothing to talk about. Um, yeah, I can tell you I knew all these people like I knew what all these people were going to do when they were in high school. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I could have I could have sat there and judged all of them and I would have been I I probably would have been about 80 percent right. Um, S Vox 99 said mix CDs Napster. That's right. I used to download. Uh, so this was in high school. I was the f the first person in my high school to get a CD burner. So I used to make mix CDs for for people, whether if they wanted like an album uh, or whatever, I would make mix CD. I would sell them for like five to ten bucks. I would make like sometimes between like seventy to like one hundred and fifty dollars a day. A day in school. I was that's a good hustle. I was like 14, 15 years old making like money. Uh, and nobody robbed you. Nobody robbed me. OK, smart. My buddy used to make uh, burn CDs and he wrote in whiteout on the back of his Jansport, uh, you know, new hip hop CDs, ten dollars. And he would constantly get robbed, just constantly <laughs> get robbed. Like, well, yeah, you're advertising. So, well, rob me on the back. On the back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have cash. Just put that on, the, on your backpack. I'm buddy. a Viet fan. Said Winamp, of course. Mess with Winamp. I was on Winamp. Winamp was the little one, right? Yeah, that was like just like the the. It was like a minimal uh, player. I kind of miss it, you know. Spotify is like a little. There's a lot of like too much going on, but it was nice to just have a simple list and a search or whatever uh it was i dope. hated winamp winamp reminded me because back then everyone used pcs nobody used uh macbooks or a mac yeah. winamp was like a mac like thing because it didn't take your whole screen it was kind of floated yeah, yeah. which to me was like a mac thing i, yeah. I always kind of skins was like this... at skins you could change uh like what the oh dude thing... my buddy had like a new york giants one it was so <laughs> it's like what are we doing dude it's just uh i'm an abdi said someone called the irs on christian no no need <laughs> <laughs> it's past the statute of limitation we're done with that <laughs> There's a new poll. Who would get robbed more, Christian or Alexis? <laughs> I've never. Have I been robbed? Have you been robbed? Yeah. I remember. Uh, I think I've told the story a bunch of times where I got like the big bag. You know, and said when you buy like one T-shirt, you get like the small, like the magazine bag. Yeah. I bought like the big, the jeans. Yeah. Okay. I've, have I been? I don't think I've been robbed. Like definitely not in any aggressive manner. I've definitely probably left something like in a park and then the back, like a backpack was missing. I, I think, but never been, my brother got robbed and it actually traumatized me because my brother had a red Carhartt jacket. Um, mm -hmm. and it was like, they're kind of popular and I don't know if the dude took it. I, I don't know if it was like gang related. My brother's not, you know, my brother's an IT professional or whatever. Um, but he got robbed at night point. Uh, for for his jacket and it like I was probably like 11 12 years old when that happened and then I remember going to I used Hold to on real quick Robert from LA said an ex-girlfriend of mine robbed 18 months of my life <laughs> <laughs> oh bro that's worse <laughs> the trauma yeah uh, fam you win <laughs> <laughs> the um so the the dude he robbed my brother's jacket and then I I used to go uh, I was obsessed with like, you know, basketball cards and comic book cards or whatever. And I used to go to this place called CJ's uh, in, in like Kiwanis in mm -hmm. Brooklyn. Uh, and so I was pretty young, but I was able to like ride the subway. I, I only needed to take the subway two stops. So I would go. Uh, that was like a thing I did almost every weekend. Uh, and you like if I had five dollars, I would I would always make sure I go. But I went to go take the subway once and. I am about to go through the turnstile and I see a dude in a red Carhartt jacket and I'm like, yo, that is the dude that took my brother's jacket. I got so scared that I ran out of the subway station and walked to the, uh, the, the comic book store. I walked a mile and a half cause I was too scared to ride the subway and see that guy. <laughs> and he might've <laughs> just had, a red jacket, like a red car jacket. They didn't steal it necessarily, but he's like telling the he's telling his friends like, oh, I just bought this. Isn't this nice? <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> and you run out of it. I throw red paint on it. I'm like, oh, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I made it shinier. Damn it. It blends with the damn jacket. <laughs> 
Um, no guitar. What comic were you buying? I usually I, I didn't go. I, I went to a comic book store, but really to get comic book cards. So like, whatever Marvel cards and things like that. So that's that was like the main thing. But you uh, also you you were a heavy basketball card collector. Yes, basketball. That's uh, that was like where it kind of ended. Uh, I was obsessed with basketball cards, and then you know I. I grew up and I, I just got over it. Um, but you still got them, right? That's money. Right I do there. still have them, but I don't like obsess over them like I like I used to. And it, I'm glad it didn't really go into my like adult years because I wasted so much uh, money on it. Hold on one second. Hey, babe, whatever you say is going to end up on the show. <laughs> See? I'm what just is letting she, you know. What is she don't saying? Don't be talking greasy. <laughs> is she on the phone or something? She just pulled up FaceTime, which is like, yo, you know. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> put the earbuds in. Yeah, my girl. <laughs> it might as well be 4chan for your wife. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo. Saying some craziness. <laughs> She's just talking wild greasy about you know her coworkers and shit. <laughs> I'm like, yo, it's gonna be evidence. Um, y'all remember Beyblades? MLS what? cards right here. Yeah, there's MLS cards. Beyblades. What are Beyblades? I don't know what that is. Uh, by the way, we have lost so many listeners and <laughs> viewers since we started talking about cards, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look, we've been going on ready for an hour. Let's let's wrap up. Let's obviously. Hold thanks. on. Nero Nation said he had back again stolen from you. You had troops stolen from you? <laughs> but, what? Bak Bakugan. What's that? Bakugan. <laughs> Isn't that where the, the Europa League final was played? What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where Mkhitaryan couldn't go. <laughs> what is Bakugan? <laughs> Uh, Maybe guess. that's the rest of Ng's name. It's Bakugan <laughs> Ng's. <laughs> um, okay, it's the it's the spinning things, the spinning like the pogs? fidget spinners. I remember pogs. Remember that? Bay blades were plastic spinning tops. I don't know why. I don't, I don't remember that. I don't remember. That, I mean, this might have been past our time. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm 17 oh, years old. Yes. Okay. Oh, now, I remember this. I do remember this. Uh, this was like, this was kind of nerd shit for me. This was like, okay. I'm pulling it up here. We're using Bing. Please, everyone, calm down. <laughs> oh, there it is, baby. <laughs> Give us money, Bing. <laughs> you already know what it is. We want to shout our sponsors today: Adidas Football <laughs> and Bing. <laughs> Um, yes, I, okay, I do, these were, these were, I was already too old for these, but I do remember these. Uh, so this kind of stuff, like anime and all that, like, with this kind of stuff, like, I always thought it was kind of cool, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like, I never really got into it. But then I met people who were really into it, and I was like, I'm never gonna get into this. <laughs> I don't want to be <laughs> associated with these people. I mean, I use deodorant, so I don't <laughs> think I'm allowed, you know? <laughs> um, I don't even, I don't need acne cream, so I'm not sure. I'm looking up Bakugan, and this is like, uh, this reminds me of uh, Gundam. You remember Gundam? Yeah. yeah, so this is okay. Yeah, this is definitely past my time. This was like when Yu-Gi-Oh was big and yeah. I was already done. You know, Pokemon was like that I was into Pokemon and then Yu-Gi-Oh came out. I'm like, all right, what? Well, I used the same to watch thing. Pokemon in the morning when I would get dressed to go to school. Like a, like I got into Pokemon in the sense that like I enjoyed watching it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I liked like the, the game more than the show. I didn't really enjoy the show. What's the better? We have game. a new poll. What's better? Bing, Google, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> colo, colo, blanco. <laughs> yeah, I never got into like the the things that like have like, oh, get in the arena, you know, like and they, people are playing. I never got into it. Like these are kids that would drink like uh like uh, very big, like uh what are the what's the what's the drink at um what's the drink at 7 Eleven? A big gulp? No, no, the frozen drinks. A frosty? Is it a frosty? No, no, no frosty is Wendy's. Um, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about? Slurpee. Slurpee. Yes, thank Slurpee. you, Board Martin. Kids that drank Big Gulp Slurpees, <laughs> they loved this shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just couldn't get into it. Like it, I couldn't the, understand. The it. tongues are always blue. You know? <laughs> yeah. I remember like my a group of a group of these kids who knew my friend were really into like they would make like the robots with the guns on them. You know what I mean? Like they would make a lot of those figures, which uh, like it seems like there's like a billion of these games, like video games where you control a robot with guns. You can pick like one with that's like really heavy, one that's faster, yes, and yes. dies quicker, like a million of these. Right. So like they were really into that kind of thing. And like they would build them in their like, uh, you know, apartments or whatever. And I remember like my friend was really into them and I roasted one of them. 
I like just fucked with one of the kids about whatever, something they were wearing, which, you know, looking at it now is me being mean to this kid. But like <laughs> they took it so bad, like every one of my friends would just roast me back. And like these kids, like you couldn't say anything about them. They were just like, why would you say that? Like, no, 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 no. Now you make fun of my head. You know, <laughs> I got a big head. <laughs> Did you know yeah, how this yeah. works? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not, you know, it's not just, I feel bad just being mean to you and not getting anything in return. <laughs> right. I feel like if you're not mean to me, then I can't continue being mean to you. You know what I mean? Okay. But you really like, not. Like they just, they didn't know how it worked, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just me it's, being it's a little really bit nasty. more. It's not bullying. It's a transaction. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can see why you would be offended if you didn't say anything bad, you know, but that's what I was, I was leaving the door open for you. you know? <laughs> oh my goodness. So, uh, okay. So let's wrap up. Obviously Thanksgiving is, uh, uh, tomorrow we did have a couple questions about what uh latino uh thanksgiving is north guitar just said he popped an edible and now we're about to talk about thanksgiving <laughs> buddy you're gonna be hungry <laughs> the um uh obviously look happy thanksgiving to everyone hopefully you, you can enjoy it in what in whatever way that you can that is obviously the most uh safe uh yeah we, we just we appreciate you uh you know we're thankful for the fact that we have people uh that are supporting what we're doing uh and, and hang out with us here on twitch and listen to the podcast and watch our show on fubo and all this other stuff so uh look that uh, let's at least just get the pleasantries out of the way and just like yep. uh stay safe if you have to be with family which i know some people do not want to be uh wear wear a mask because it will it'll make your you know conservative relatives talk to you less okay they'll <laughs> you just go in your other room okay where the air is safe and 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 the viral load is not as dangerous uh so, uh, but yes, stay, stay safe as, uh, as possible. Okay. And also look, I, this is the first time in my life that I'm not going to be with my immediate family for Thanksgiving. My grandfather who raised me like, uh, he was my father figuring up. He raised me like his own son, which he obviously didn't need to, uh, RIP love you, uh, abuelo. He, his birthday was always around Thanksgiving. So we always celebrated on Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving is a, in that sense, a very meaningful day for me. I had to explain to my family, why aren't we eating Turkey? There's a lot involved in Cubans understanding what Americans do for Thanksgiving, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, for us, for me, it's a very important day. So I just want to say, Hey, since I can't be with my immediate family for the first time ever, you fans, you're my Turkey. Okay. <laughs> okay. And he's, and he's eating the thigh first. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. <you know? laughs> I'm gonna get up in them wings. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, some people were asking about, uh, yeah, let us know what you're doing for Thanksgiving. Put it in the chat. Uh, we'll see, you know, what uh, what sort of Thanksgiving looks like during uh, a, a pandemic. And I'm hoping by the next Thanksgiving, uh, we are still not, you know, we're not under a pandemic and things will feel a little bit more uh more right. no look luke look sir you just <laughs> said gobble me swallow me <laughs> <laughs> i did not i'll be honest i did not expect a meg the stallion yeah. quote coming from luke <laughs> stergio okay i'll be honest yeah. it was great very impressive <laughs> uh i'm mexican so our to goes are pozoles tamales uh, and tamales for thanksgiving my family specifically loves to get down with some enchiladas though yo that sounds like a fire thanksgiving yeah the, what is what is uh what is the polanco household thanksgiving typically not now that you have a yeah nutritionist girlfriend who's gonna make you eat kale all we, day we almost rarely do turkey uh it's usually pernil um uh or or sometimes chicken but rarely rarely turkey um I'm, and I'm, turkey's not a very latin thing yeah i i you know we have it uh, some it, it's happened you know it's not uh you know entirely like super rare that we have it but i think my my mom is like it's more work you know to 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 w with the turkey i don't know i i've never cooked a turkey a full turkey and or uh or a hog so i don't know the actual differences but i she very much prefers to do penil over uh, over turkey my family does three types of pork sometimes four now Cubans and pork are like people from Naples and Maradona. Okay. Uh, pork is considered like a God dish. And sometimes there's actually five um, types of pork, but there's always a penin. Always. It's not Thanksgiving. If there's no penin, uh -huh. there's always cotilla. If you don't have pork ribs, 
I mean, why'd you even show up? You mm. know, Ma, you you taking a half day, abuela? <laughs> you know, there's always forever chicharrones. And one of the main reasons why there's so much uh, chicharrones because my grandmother, she would render the pig fat. She would cook the chicharrones in the big cardero before she made the rice. So she would sear the rice in the pig fat, right? It was incredible. And then um, there was always, so we had penil, we had costilla, chicharrones, ham. A lot of times my grandmother would make a ham, which a ham and a panita are essentially the same cut. There's just one's cure. I love pa- pa- Paolo in Minnesota said, and then a coronary bypass surgery the next day. <laughs> oh, it's happened in my family, and I expect it to happen again. Uh, and the fifth one, the fifth one uh, sometimes is uh, Board Martin said, I'm coming over like this. I don't get to go. So if you want to go to Newark, go for it. Um, I'm not going to go this year. I'm staying here. Uh, the fifth one is sometimes uh, when they make the uh, frijole, the, the black beans. Some people call it black bean soup. We don't eat it as a soup. It's really over only poured over rice. Every once in a while, there would be uh, either, um, actually, sometimes there's six. So the fifth one would be cuts of like bacon almost, like cuts of cured pork mm-hmm. in the beans. And the sixth one is pork chorizo in the soup. If it's a really cold uh, Thanksgiving, my grandmother will also make soup, some type of guisao, and that will have uh, a pork sausage in it. Wow, five, six types of pork. See, the, the only sh- already, I'm already like getting parched listening to you talk about this. Like, <laughs> oh, so- sodium levels are through the roof, buddy. <laughs> like, how do you eat all of this? I'm thirsty. This is crazy. <laughs> it is. I mean, to say. Thanksgiving for Cubans also like it's I don't know I, I've experienced it with my wife's family sometimes I'll go to my wife's family first and then we end up at my house second um but like the way sometimes <laughs> Italians will eat where it takes like <laughs> Robert from they said uh, and a diet coke to stay healthy <laughs> Yeah, you, we got to watch our figures, right? Everybody, we don't want to be thick with three C's, you know, <laughs> just two. But like, uh, we would like sometimes Italian families will like eat all day. Like they'll bring out this smaller meal and then they'll relax a little bit. And everyone kind of talks. And then here comes like the second part of the meal. And then everyone talks. My family was more, a lot of this stuff is already on the table at the same time, but you're not expected to just sit there and just go to town. You know what I mean? Like, Relax, talk a little bit. You know what I mean? Well, obviously, talk means you're going to get belittled. You're going to get yeah, roasted yeah. for your decisions. Your significant <laughs> other is going to be told, why are you doing this? You don't need to be with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, They're not saying I could do better. They're saying she could do better. Uh, and then, you know, then dessert comes. I am a, no, I'm I am, uh, you know, where's the food? Is that it? Okay, I'll get what I want to eat. Let's get out of here. I am. I do not need this whole all day of eating. This is why people are, are like, every Thanksgiving, there's always this like, oh, I'm going to get so stuffed and I'm going to get, I'm like, what? Who has the time for how much? What is this like? This, like, this, it, it's almost like a, uh, um, what, what's the, what's it called? Not Kama, not Karma Sutra, the, uh, like tantric sex, but with food. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this whole <laughs> preparation and uh, like you, you're deve- you're like getting horny for the food you're about to eat and i'm like all right this you're, is- <laughs> you're like why are we edging the food <laughs> just, eat just it. get in there and pound it, it out or don't eat it what who was what's why is everybody taking talking about this yeah as bog 99 said a hedonism yeah hedonism. we're all sting <laughs> we have sex for 35 hours that's us eating <laughs> okay and then you end up wearing the pig heads uh, you know on the- <laughs> it's too much <laughs> eyes wa- assholes wide shut uh <laughs> food debauchery put northwood guitar um lousy human bell said my birthday is either on or around thanksgiving so i mean i may need to get myself a birthday cake for funsies this year please do it dude get yourself a cake and uh consider pork you know a pork a nice cake Cuban yeah cake. you know what's weird i don't know how twitch's algorithm works but as soon as i said edging the food we've got three new, <laughs> we've got three new viewers I don't know how this works. Hit that follow button if you're into edging your food, okay? <laughs> I, listen, you got to get it warmed up a bit, you know? Oh, my goodness. Uh, all right. I mean, look. So, look, everybody, I oh, hope you enjoy your, your Thanksgiving, uh, whatever your holidays look like, as long as you, look, frankly, do whatever you want. Just don't catch COVID-19. That's really, that's the only advice we can give you. because Just uh, don't do it because a bunch of comedians just did, and yeah. they're not having a good time. Yeah, and and even like people think in oh in you know certain states that the numbers are not high like bro it does not matter we literally we have like seven friends that just got it 
and it's it's and they're struggling and and it's, it's scary fun. so yeah some of them pl- is very scary yeah don't play <laughs> uh, don't play with this man it, it's it's uh it, you know it, it's 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 scary you know I, like obviously we know people who had it but they're still getting it and the cases are still going up so don't get you know me sick all right you don't want that no, not at all. I want to read Crimson Pizza said, I've been called the sting of consuming food, which is just, I don't know what that means, and I love it. <laughs> uh, sti- but also, just kick aided, uh, which is Eddie Barroso, our homie. Uh, he said, The Barroso household, we get those eats in for Thanksgiving Argentinian empanadas, choripan, penin, pene a la vodka, two deboned and stuffed turkeys, mashed potatoes, and corn chowder. For dessert, it's flan with ice cream and dulce de leche. My. God, <laughs> if you order that at a restaurant, they'd be like, OK, we're done with the food. We got no more. Uh, no, that's that's intense. Like, look, I that's all sounds great. I'll have I'll, I'll have a little bit of each. That's all. No, that's embarrassing. I will say Chody Pine seems like a lot to expect you to eat and then <laughs> also have a meal. Chody Pine, if you don't know, it's bread, a huge piece of sausage, typically sliced in half and griddled on each side. And then there's also chimichurri sauce on top, like. Wow, <laughs> that alone is a hell of a meal. I can't imagine that. <laughs> and then someone's like, "Are you ready for the empanadas and penne a la vodka?" <laughs> I'd be like, "Is there? A, do I win a T-shirt at the end of this thing?" <laughs> okay, I feel like you're asking a lot of me, but <laughs> um, but yeah. So uh, yeah, obviously, enjoy uh, your holidays uh, as best you can and as safely as you can. So uh, thank you. Real for- quick, what is the Dominican dessert? We didn't cover dessert. Real quick, what is your Dominican dessert? Um, kind of similar. Uh, well, flan is common. Dulce de leche is common. Um, uh, tre, uh, tres leches uh, cake. Oh is hell yeah! Also good. I'm a big fan of flan. I'm a big flan head over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big flan addict. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, pudding de pan. Pudding de pan. Yeah. I've not bread pudding. I assume that is okay. Yeah. All right. I've uh, I've not uh, for whatever reason I've I I, I saw Putin like Vladimir. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, what is he? Is he involved? Is he a fan of Thanksgiving? <laughs> uh, wow. All right. Well, dessert's gonna be uh, very tough this I love, year. I love this. I, I don't know how many uh, Twitch channels have the, the the level of diversity of just the food alone in the in the Twitch chat. So this is pretty great. So thank you it's for everybody beautiful. for the contribution. How about Paulo in Minnesota said turron de Doña Pepa in Peru? Okay. Wow. Well, this sounds like. A person who's Doña Pepa? Who's that? It sounds like it actually <laughs> sounds like the person everyone's afraid of in the TV novela. <laughs> oh no, it's the Turron de Doña Pepa. <laughs> uh, Nation, eso está heavy. That's right. Well, heavy spe- spelled J E V I. Everybody knows yeah. that heavy. Uh, okay. Ta heavy. I don't mean to correct you, but I do have these Dominican braids in. Okay. Okay. He's got. <laughs> He's got right now his what I like to call <laughs> instead of the number one or the number two at the barber is I'll have the Uber driver. Okay. <laughs> oh, and just a wrap before we wrap up, uh, uh, Helene keeps telling me to go to the nutmeg cam because uh, apparently he's doing something cute. I don't know what it is. Not anymore. He's not doing anything cute, but apparently he is he's no longer cute, but we're going to go to him. We didn't get too many subs today. I, did people not want to see nutmeg? That is insulting. It's uh, incredible. Uh, okay. And it's 20% off if you gift the sub. Where's Monkey? You know? <laughs> oh, that's right, monkey. All right, uh, um, you know, okay. Nutmeg is just simply waiting for the subs to arrive. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> sad. He's sad. <laughs> that's why he's like, I gotta sit up. I'm not even gonna lay down in a cute way anymore because we got no subs. This is great. He's just, uh, you know, he's he's been calm during the day, and then he's been getting a little bit kind of difficult at night. Like he's like, all his energy comes out at night, but during the day he's like sleeping, lying around, pretty chill. And then at night, he's like, let's go. Let's turn it on. Bed. Oh, are you guys tired? <laughs> well, funny enough, I prepared for this moment. <laughs> okay, sleep is for losers. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, because I'm out here grinding, all right? <laughs> while, you know, I'll sleep sleeping. when I'm dead, my G. <laughs> I'm hustling. <laughs> um, Turon, uh, Diego said, Turon de Doña Pepa in Peru looks so sweet. All right, now I'm going to have to Google this. What's you bing it, yo. Bing it for everybody. Let oh, them know what it looks right. like. Uh, Tujon de Doña Pepa. Oh, this is like a, this is a dessert. This is all right. This is delicious. Look at this. This. Seems, oh, I'm waiting. Oh, I've had these. I've had these a million times. These are amazing. This seems like it looks like there's like um. Uh, it's the it's the it's like the the cake that Chaha is um. Sometimes it's called like a Russian celebration cake. Oh, okay. 
Dude, this is so good. I've had this a million times. There's another word for it. Like Puerto Ricans and Cubans call it something else because the bakeries I grew up eating this in call it something else. And uh, Cubans will put a, a like a white vanilla glaze like from a black and white cookie on it as yeah. opposed to the chocolate. I mean, it's just it looks like a literal party in a cake. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm hoping like a tiny stripper will bounce out of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Doña Pepa. <laughs> Wow, you look good for your age. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Typically, Donias don't do what you're doing here, but I'll tell you, I am all for it. Um, okay, well, thank you. All right, we, I'm gonna have to figure out where to where to try this. Um, my my girlfriend's sister, her uh, her boyfriend is uh, Peruvian, so I'm gonna ask him. And he's a and he's a cook, so I'm gonna ask him about this. So you better press him until he brings some of this over, <laughs> yo. Where is Doña Pepa? I'm gonna grab him by the collar. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here until you get me some to run it on your uh, All right, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. People listen to the podcast. Uh, we appreciate you listening. I know it's it's mostly very silly, and you can't see Doña Pepa on on the podcast, but trust me, uh, you can uh, watch the videos. Uh, you can watch the episodes on YouTube, so you can see everything that we did. Uh, follow us on Twitch again, twitch.tv slash soccer uh, Follow us, subscribe, uh, help support, uh, and uh, yeah, and enjoy your holiday. So thank you. Uh, uh, everybody for, for tuning in we really really uh appreciate it uh anything else before we wrap up um again pick up the uh the patch from for for daryl uh to help support his family cover uh the the medical uh costs uh we uh, it's really incredible i can't you know honestly we thought we were we planned for 300 we thought we were going to sell that's what we had a cap. That's at, literally we had a cap at three hundred because we did not expect this, but the love has been un, uh, unreal. So, um, I'm, and we're probably gonna hit like a thousand by tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. feel free to uh, to pick one up. Could be a really cool thing. Um, and uh, just to answer Glenster, I, I am familiar with the New Orleans King Cake, um, and I absolutely love them. I had it when I was down in New Orleans. They're absolutely amazing. And there's a bakery here that I found in Brooklyn that makes them, and I can't wait to get one. Okay. Um, Thank you for reminding me of them. Have you seen them? They're like spiral and they have like uh, the, the purple and the yellow and stuff and the green on the outside. I have not seen any of that. Sometimes they're spiral on the inside. There's like all different types. Some of them are filled with cream. They're great. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get one for the show. For the show. Yeah. It's a business yeah. expense, you know? I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll just eat it. And then I'll tell you <laughs> as I'm eating it what it tastes like. <laughs> Uh, all right, everybody. Thank you again uh, for tuning in. We appreciate you. Uh, yeah, enjoy your holidays. We uh, will be back next week. We have a, a, a really fun show already. That we taped an interview already with um, uh, Rachel Daly and Zach Valentin of the Houston uh, Houston Dash and Houston Dynamo. Uh, we, and we talked to them together. Uh, it was really, really cool. Uh, Rachel Daly is currently playing for uh, the West Ham women in in the women's super league out in england uh and and uh yeah we had a great conversation with her so uh, that that'll be available next week so subscribe to the podcast watch or, or watch on fubo tv uh, uh to, to check that out um okay to answer robert from la the patch for daryl was designed by on the volley apparel yes uh so again uh order one the link is in the chat i still believe right we yeah, should yeah. probably put exclamation point patch oh or if um, you go to on the volley apparel.com slash cooligans it's also right there you won't miss yeah. it so uh, thank you so much. Hey, uh, Diego Maradona, que descansa en paz. Um, and that's it. So we absolutely love you guys. Please stay safe for Thanksgiving. Please, 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 please. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to hear any positive COVID uh, test results two weeks from now. Okay. That's uh, right. Uh, all right, everybody. The only thing negative, we want to hear nothing but negative. Negative about the, the terrible turkey y'all cook, <laughs> the dry ass turkey, <laughs> and about your, ne your negative COVID test. All right, everybody. Peace. Take care. Uh, so with that said, my name is Christian Polanco. I'm Alexis Guerreros. And together, what are we? The, the Cooligans!